61A Lecture 1 of Fall 2014. Welcome to the UC Berkeley Computer Science Division, which is half of the EECS department. I am John De Niro, up here in the corner, hello. And this is Soda Hall, which houses the Computer Science Division. I sit right there. I hope you come visit me soon. My office hours are in 411 Soda on Tuesday and Wednesday, and also by appointment in 781 Soda, which is that window circled in the picture there. So if you go to denero.org slash meet, you'll be brought to a calendar where you can click on available appointment times and come talk to me individually. Or you can just come to my regularly scheduled office hours and talk to me then. I look forward to meeting you soon. I'm not in this alone, so it takes a big course staff in order to put together this great course for all of you. And the first people you should think about getting to know are the teaching assistants, also known as undergraduate student instructors or graduate student instructors. They run discussion sections, they run the labs, they hold office hours, and they do a ton of other amazing work for the course, including developing new materials, making the projects better every year, helping come up with exam questions, and everything else. They're total experts, I choose them very carefully, and they're just amazing folks. So get to know them, and by the way, there are a lot of them. So each of you has your own TA, and you should really get to know your own TA. In addition, don't be shy about getting to know some other TAs. You might find that you prefer going to office hours of people who aren't your designated TA, and that's fine too. There's more core staff than this. We also have 18 readers who are your personal programming mentors and also help evaluate your projects. And then we have over 150 lab assistants that come to the lab and ensure that you don't get stuck for too long. They've all taken the course before and they enjoyed it enough that they want to come back and help you succeed as well. So what is this course all about? Well, one part of it is the lectures. And before every lecture, I'm going to post videos just like this one. Let me give you a little bit of advice. Don't come to lecture. Just watch the videos. The videos are better. You can pause, you can play it faster, you can play it slower. But most importantly, you can follow along on your computer. A lot of what I do is interactive examples where I'm actually programming and showing you how I would solve problems. And the best way to understand those is not just to stare at them, but to try them out for yourself. And you can do that in live lecture, but it's really much easier to do it at home while you're watching the video. So you can come to live lecture. I mean, I'll be there. But you don't have to. And if you prefer the videos, that's just fine. I think I prefer them too. Now, for the first two days, we're actually going to have two live lectures because there are enough people that will overflow the regular room. So in addition to the 2 p.m. lecture in Wheeler Hall, we'll have an overflow 7 p.m. lecture in one Pimentel. So if you want to come see live lecture, absolutely, come along. But I think you'll find that the videos are better. What you don't want to do is watch the videos and then come to live lecture because I really will say exactly the same thing, tell exactly the same jokes, and you will probably fall asleep in live lecture having heard everything before. And let me tell you, there are many more comfortable places to sleep than Wheeler Hall. Another big component of this course is lab. In fact, lab is the most important thing in this course. You just gotta go to lab, and especially next week, on Tuesday and Wednesday, You'll go to the first lab, the lab assistants will help you get all set up, understand the environment that we use in order to make progress in this course, and they'll give you an account that you use to submit your homeworks and projects. Without this account, you're not really in the course, so make sure you go to lab. Discussion section, which you should have gone to already, is the most important thing in this course. So, Discussion section is where a lot of learning happens because there you work with your peers and with your TA to apply the ideas that are presented in these videos. 
And it's not good enough just to understand what I say in videos in this course. You really have to master the ideas so well that you can apply them to new problems. And in discussion, that's where you learn to do that. There's also office hours, which are the most important thing in this course. And we're going to run office hours from 11 to 5 every day of the week in 411 Soda, Monday through Friday. Now, you may have noticed the theme that I've said all these things are the most important thing in the course. And how is that possible? Well, it turns out that for different people, different parts of the course are really the most important thing. So these are all true, but you have to try them all to figure out what works for you. I would strongly recommend going to lab, strongly recommend going to discussion, and strongly recommend going to office hours. But don't come to lecture. There's an online textbook, composingprograms.com. And I wrote it for this class, so it should be just maximally relevant. So please take a look. It's based on the best computer science book ever written called Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programs. And that's why this course is named that. And so that was the original textbook for the course, and we've adapted it to a slightly different curriculum now hosted at composingprograms.com. There are weekly homework assignments, three exams, and four programming projects, and lots of special events that I'll tell you about soon. What should you take away from this slide? Well, that the most important things in this course are the times when you get together in small groups with your peers and your TA, and you learn something by applying it, not just by coming to lecture.